Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of multiplayer gaming on EtherSX2. I'll show you how to play your favorite PlayStation 2 games with your friends. This guide will cover everything from setting up the emulator to troubleshooting common issues. Let's get started. First, you need to understand that EtherSX2 doesn't natively support online multiplayer for all games. It relies on a workaround using a virtual local area network, or LAN. Think of it as creating a private network over the internet for you and your friends to connect to. Now, for the setup. The most popular method is using a program called Netplay. Download and install Netplay on all devices that will be used for multiplayer. It is a free program. After you've installed Netplay, create or join a room. One person will host the room, and the others will join using the host's IP address. Make sure everyone is using the same version of EtherSX2 and the same game ROM. Any discrepancies can cause syncing issues or connection problems. Next, configure EtherSX2. Open the emulator and go to Settings. Navigate to the Network Settings. Enable Enable Networking. Change the Network Adapter to tap Windows Adapter V9. This adapter is created by Netplay. In the game settings, ensure that multiplayer is enabled if the game requires it. Some games automatically detect the LAN connection, while others need to be manually configured. To check if the connection is working, try a simple test within the game's multiplayer mode. If you see the other player's name, you're good to go. Here are some common problems and how to fix them. If you're having trouble connecting, double-check the IP address. Make sure everyone is typing it correctly. Firewalls can also block connections. Add exceptions for Netplay and EtherSX2 in your firewall settings. Another issue could be different game versions. Ensure everyone is using the exact same ROM. Lag is a common problem in online gaming. Close any unnecessary programs running in the background to free up resources. A stable internet connection is also essential. Experiment with different EtherSX2 settings, such as lowering the resolution, to improve performance. Also, check the Netplay latency meter and try lowering the game's graphical settings on the EtherSX2 to allow for a smoother experience. Finally, remember to check specific game compatibility lists online. Some games work better than others with Netplay. There are online communities that can provide valuable information and troubleshooting tips for specific titles. So that's how you can play multiplayer games on EtherSX2. It requires some initial setup, but the ability to relive classic PS2 games with your friends is definitely worth the effort. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more gaming content. Consider supporting the channel through donations or by becoming a member. Every little bit helps us create more content for you.